Starting at number five, we have Kieber.com, and this one, just the layout looks a bit weird. You can't really backspace at all. If you try to backspace, it won't let you, um, but I have used this one before, and it does help uh, with improving typing speed. There is a practice section. There's also typing test sections that look like this, and the multiplayer sections, which are my favorite on this website because you can actually race against players, and it makes it for an exciting time if you're just looking to compete and see uh, who you can beat and who you can't. So uh, it's pretty fun. If I go ahead and start one right here, we can just see how fast I am. Let's see if, it, oh my gosh, we're insane. Moving on to the number four spot, we have typing.com. And basically this one is good if you really want to, uh, if you're a beginner typer and you want to really lock in the, the keyboard and really make sure that you're getting lots of practice with each individual key. Uh, they do have tests as well and they have games. Uh, they have one-minute tests, three minutes, and five minutes, and then they also have page tests as well. Uh, it's really good for keeping track of your data to see how you improve over time. They have graphs and charts to make sure you can see that stuff. However, there are some better options in my opinion, so let's go ahead and take a look at number three. And Monkey Type holds the number three spot. As you can see, there's numbers and letters in their typing test, which is nice because you need good practice with numbers as well. You really gotta lock down those numbers at the top of your keyboard, so this gives a lot of good practice with that. Learning the numbers is really important because you're gonna use them in everyday life, and as you can see, I'm still not great at it, but I've gotten a lot better over time. And then trying to learn the number keypad on the right-hand side of your keyboard, that is another challenge in itself, but this is kind of how the graphs look like uh, when you're uh, finished with a test, and it's, it's really cool. It gives some good data. However, there's another option that I think is even better. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. In the number two spot, we have 10 fast fingers. This is really cool because there's a regular typing test with very simple words, but then there's also an advanced typing test right here. And then there's also custom typing tests if you want to create your own test. They have a multiplayer section as well if you want to race against other people. And they also have typing competitions. So if we join one of these, you can pick your, your language. If we click on that, it's gonna have more, more words that are up my alley with uh, the English language language and uh, you know it's gonna it's just a bunch of random words and you can also see the scores of other people and what they got uh, in words per minute uh, on these tests so I would probably be in the 100 to 110 range and you can work your way up the leaderboard which is pretty cool and they also have a top 1,000 words typing mode which is pretty cool because you can you can progress through the basic stages and there's an aspect of progression right here so it's really cool for that aspect as well however the website that takes the number one spot is the practice test and the reason for that is because they have a very big emphasis on numbers and I really love learning the numbers at the top of the keyboard and uh, this is really great practice for um, you know really locking in that progression of just doing these number typing tests and you're gonna get also practice with not just numbers but only with letters as well which is also really important because that's when you're gonna use uh, numbers and letters together and it really gives good practice for that. And I'm really happy with this website because I've used this to really gain a bunch of typing speed with the numbers at the top of my keyboard. And obviously it's hard to talk and type at the same time, but it also gives you scores on different parts of the keyboard. So it shows your fast keys, it shows your slow keys, and it shows what keys you can improve on. And it's just a really good website in my opinion. So those are my top five suggestions for you. All the links will be in the description below. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peace out.